the need to optimize the function of the Committee on Legislative Compliance. The Speaker, the House notes that the oversight function of the National Assembly provided for under Section 88 of the National Constitution as amended are to enable the legislature to carry out investigations within the competence, within its competence in order to prevent and expose corruption, inefficiency, or waste in the execution of the, the administration of our laws. Also note that pursuant to the provision of Order 18, Rule 64, 2, Sub A of our standing order, the duration of the Committee on Legislative Compliance includes, among others, ensuring the implementation of all acts passed or deemed to be passed by the National Assembly and all House resolutions and motions, petitions and other resolutions. Mr. Speaker, I'm aware that in the 8th Assembly, over 1,588 resolutions were passed and about 1,192 petitions were considered by the House of Representatives while a significant number of motions and petitions have been presented to this Ninth Assembly. Mr. Speaker, I'm also aware that the Committee on Legislative Compliance was constituted to take inventory of the resolution that has been passed by the House and ensure the level of compliance. Believe that the Committee to properly function in line with its mandate as prescribed by our standing order and to achieve the goal set by Mr. Speaker, all resolutions and motions and petitions should be forwarded to the Committee for monitoring, implementation and compliance. Also believe that in line with the expectation of this House, the Committee on Legislative Compliance, when empowered, will be able to keep track of all resolutions arising from motions and petitions and will ensure that they are effectively enforced. Cognizance that the inability to ensure compliance with the resolutions of motions and petitions is making the House look effective. Consequently, the House resolved to one mandate the clerk of House of Representatives to make available within three days all resolutions from motions and petitions to the Committee on Legislative Compliance to be able to monitor compliance. Two, all, that all motions should, be, should include in their prayers the need for the Committee on Legislative Compliance to ensure compliance. Three, also mandate the Committee to ensure the implementation of all acts passed or deemed to have been passed by the National Assembly. Four, further mandate the clerk of House of Representatives to notify the committee of any member attending any parliamentary comprehensive training seminar or capacity building. Fifth, also urge any member who attends such seminar conferences, it is to portion to order 18 rule 642 b of the standing order of the house to file a written report of the said conference seminar it is to the committee of legislative compliance within seven days of the return from such conferences mr speaker i so move